laboratory is underway. A long March 2F carrier rocket is due to blast off with the Tiangong 2 Space Lab by next Tuesday from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Such launches are mostly done by the government, but that does not rule out private companies. Our reporter Guan Yang files this story from a testing ground in Shandong province where a group of rocket entrepreneurs are reaching out to space. Rocket signs from the ground. 23-year-old Hu Zhenyu and his teammates are preparing for a horizontal ground test of their new booster. It will test how well the rocket can respond to commands once it takes off. From rockets to testing facilities, the team of six men in their 20s build them all from scratch. Their company was founded two years ago in Shenzhen, a frontier city for high-tech firms. But because rocket testing requires a large open space, they then moved to an abandoned factory plant in Shandong province. The latest test is to see if the rocket can hover like a helicopter and stay in a vertical position. Such technology is crucial for the development of future reusable rockets. We are the first company in China which has completed such tests. While SpaceX continues to lead the charge in the private sector space companies in the U.S., a new generation of Chinese startups are entering the space race. Among them is the country's first private rocket firm called Link Space. The company aims to cut the cost of launching a rocket by a third compared to launches. In such a capital-intensive space industry, launching a rocket is costly business. There is no way on earth an average university graduate can afford a startup like this. Other than receiving funding, we hope what we are doing can be a part of the country's space program. And private rocket companies like us can stand a chance to take part in national scientific projects which are exclusive to state institutes. Currently, the company is getting funding through venture capital. It is just about enough to cover the basic operating costs. The company plans to develop a rocket which can carry instruments to an altitude of up to 200 kilometers, different from the usual launch vehicles which transport heavy satellites. I am positive about the growth potential in the private rocket industry because modern satellites that depend on low Earth